So, hey guys, um, anyways, I've been wondering about the new Powerpuff Girls that has been going on for a while. And I have to tell you, it's okay. I'm not saying anything about it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's okay. The animation style is still good. I like the... I like the art. I like the art style. Animation's good. Um, the story could use a little bit more flaws because it has some minor flaws in it. But the voice acting's good. I'm, I'm glad that they bought the original, two of the original guys who were Tom Kenny and I forgot the other guy's name. The voice of the professor. Um, I'm kind of saying that it needs a little bit more tweaking than... Most people think. I can see why it's kind of upsetting on how different it is. And yeah, the twerking part, that could have been more, I don't know, fixable, I guess. I'm just saying that it's totally different from the original. I remember growing, I grew up on the original um, Powerful Girls. I grew up on the original Powerful Girls. I, I know how you feel. It's just... Sometimes the new gener this new generation I think prefers to I guess you know like it I guess I don't know I'm not putting it down I'm not putting it down at all I'm just saying it's it's still it's still cute it's funny the voice acting's good the art style the animation it's just the story really needs some tweaking very in a major way because um, I was thinking they made the characters cute I love how Bubbles, Buttercup, and Blossom are drawn no doubt about it that they're still cute but I have a feeling that if they would have made the story better I think there would be I don't know a lot more people enjoying it uh, people, people like me because I I like the original from 1998 to 2005. It was a good show. Um, the voice acting's okay. I mean, we have Christy Lee as Bubbles, I think, and you know, I mean, she's her voice acting's not bad. It's pretty. It's pretty okay. I'm not putting the show down. for the, all those fans who are going to watch this. I'm just saying that. There could have been a lot, there could have been some stuff that they could have done in order to perfect this and keep it going at a good way. The bad guys or the villains are pretty okay, but the new villains are okay. I just wish they would add more, more, more stuff. I would just, I wish they would add more stuff to it. The story could use a little bit more, but. Bubbles, Buttercup, and Blossom are, I don't know, they kind of, I mean, I love Bubbles, she's my, she's been my favorite for a while, and I think she's cute, she's always happy, sunshine and rainbows, yay me, but I wish they would got better, I do wish her story would have been better, um, because she, she's cutesy, she's cute, she's adorable, and I, I like her, she's my favorite. Buttercup is kind of a total tomboy, but I have no problem against my sister is a tomboy, so you know that's no problem with me. But the in the original, I think they kind of balanced it out for even Blossom because Blossom can be a neat freak. If you remember the one of the episodes that she was just freaking out over dirt, the little pile of dirt. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm bringing the show down. I'm just saying that there's some flaws that they could have prevented. And even though it's 40 episodes, it's going to be, I don't know, I guess they're done with it, apparently. So, we'll see what happens. It's very popular. The show's good. The show's good. Okay. The show is okay. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying. I like the animation. Just, um, the art style's good. The voice acting's okay. Um, the show is funny. The girls are still drawn cutely. And... I just wish they would add some more adaptation. I'm not bringing the show down, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just saying that there could have been a lot, of, a lot of things they could have done. I mean, Craig McCracken, he was, he did Wonder Over Yonder, and he did this one. So it's hard to tell what else he's going to do. Disney decided to stop Wonder Over Yonder, and I'll do that later. I'll do that one later for sure. 
But anyways, Greg McCracken actually did a lot of a lot of good. The storyboard the storyboard was better, but I think sometimes the computer can be a little terrible for things like this. So yeah, I'm not putting it down. It's a good show. If a six year old saw it and said they loved it, I mean, <coughs> go ahead, love it. But I'm not particularly a huge fan. I think it's cute. It's a, it's funny. This, some minor flaws. That's it. There's no. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna say that this Cartoon Network your shows are good. Like we think of re what regular show, Adventure Time, Gumball, um, Steven Universe, and many, many more who are coming. But I think sometimes the art can be art style can be lazy. If you think about TV Universe, on the other hand, that's a good show. Regular, regular show, Adventure Time, Gumball, um, We Bear Bears, just to throw it out there. But I think Harding Network nearly needs to fix some things. But if you want to bring it back to the old show, just make sure it kind of stays not too the same, but bringing it a little back to normal. And just fix the minor problems. Okay, so this is my video about how Powerpuff Girls is. It was, it's okay. It's an okay show. I'm not bringing down anybody. It's an okay show. So author, so the artists, really good job. Um, the animation is pretty good. So no, I'm just saying it's good. So no, no bad comments, please. Thank you. I'm out. Peace.